everyone, Ed Bates again from Kilworth Chiropractic Clinic and welcome to yet another of today's Daily Dose. So when patients first come into our office, especially when they're in pain, more often than not, they have slightly unrealistic expectations as to how quickly it will take them to feel better. All too often, they expect the miracle cure the quick fix or the one thing that they can do to help them improve. However, we are always at pains, no pun intended, to tell them that healing takes time. Because regardless of whether you're an elite athlete or an octogenarian, healing is a process and that process requires time. So why does healing take time? Well, let's just take a simple muscle problem. So if you look at a muscle under a microscope, normally it has these nice symmetrical, uniform crisscross patterns from there. And this crisscross pattern basically gives the muscle and the tissue its strength pretty much in all directions of force. Now, what then happens is oftentimes you may have an injury. And that injury may be a sudden thing like a, a car accident or a fall, or it can be a gradual injury, such as because of poor posture. And what happens is the muscle tissue is basically pulled and stretched and torn. And what happens is it takes this out of their nice symmetrical pattern. And so instead, it resembles... something like that. Now, as soon as you damage and stretch and pull the tissue, what that does is it leads to inflammation. And inflammation then can lead to that acute pain and swelling. Now, after about three days, what happens is a special protein called collagen begins to accumulate in the tears and the damaged tissue. So you get the collagen basically filling up the gaps. And what happened, or the purpose of the collagen, is that the collagen really acts like a glue, for want of a better description, and helps fill the gaps in. But this gluing process can take about six to eight weeks. Now, once the collagen's been laid down, now, if steps aren't taken, what happens is the collagen then forms into scar tissue. So whilst the collagen initially protects the tissue, unfortunately, if the tissue is not made to basically improve or heal properly, the scar tissue forms. And because the scar tissue is more irregular, it's weaker, it's not as elastic, it's no way near as resilient. And furthermore, the scar tissue is much, much more pain sensitive. So the question is, how do we get rid of the scar tissue? Or how do you break it down? Well, that relies on movement. And so the next stage of tissue healing is called remodeling. And this is where the scar tissue is gradually broken down so that the tissues begin to line up properly and you can restore that normal symmetrical crisscross pattern. However, the only way we can achieve this is by reestablishing proper movement. And according to all the physiology textbooks, this whole process can take 12 to 18 months to achieve. In other words, it takes time to take the joint from here to here. And if you don't restore that proper movement, what happens? The scar tissue remains. And ultimately, all that happens is the joints get stiffer, you lose more movement and the problems get worse and worse. And that leads you to be much more vulnerable to further injury. And this is why chiropractic care is so essential in the healing process, because the research has shown that chiropractic care will accelerate this healing process by restoring normal joint movement and normal joint function, as well as removing interference to the nervous system. And that's what we're going to discuss tomorrow. I hope this was of interest. And again, if you have any comments or queries, don't hesitate to ask and have a great day. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay happy.